In the sum, length is 40, height is 40 and width is 40. So first we will draw a layout, we will mark 40, 40, 40. Draw vertical line and draw parallel lines at 30 degree. Now after drawing this, now we will see front view. In front view there are two parts, part 1 and part 2. So out of these two parts, which one is nearer to us or observer? If you see in top view, this is part 2 and this is part 1. So we will draw part 2 first. So first we will draw this rectangle. The dimensions are 40 by 20. So we will take 40, 20 and we will draw this. So what we have drawn? We have drawn part 2. Now if you see this part 2 in top view, it's here. Right? And if you see this top view is entire 1 unit. So we can draw this top view as it is. We have to go behind by 40, then 20, then again 10, then 20, 20, 20 and then 10. So what we will do? From here we will go 40, then we will take 20, then we will come inside by 10, again we will go outside by 20, again 20, again 20 and then 10. So we have drawn top view. Now we need to draw part 1. If you see part 1 which is behind by 10. So what we can do, from here we go inside by 10, we can draw line 40 and we can join this. Same way, if you see this point in front view, this point is here. How much you have to go down? You have to go down by 40. So you go down by 40 and you join this. So we got part 1 as well. Now whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind. Same way this part. So if you see the main diagram, there are two parts, part 1 and 2. But if you see top view, there is only one part. So whenever you come across something like this, where you have a vertical line and you have a horizontal line, so that time you have to keep in mind that it might have a uniform surface at the top. 